But I do want to actually get back before we, before we leave this, this, uh, this particular part of the discussion, because I, I neglected to bring up Donald Herbert. Mm, yes. And this is a remarkable piece of film. Why don't you tell us about this? So we, could um, this we have a clip here. Then one day, two years ago, the nursing home called with shocking news. Don had woken up and was asking for his family. How long have I been doing? One of the nurses lent the Herberts a video camera to record Don's incredible awakening. His first words were a struggle. He hadn't spoken in nearly a decade. <laughs> family members and buddies from the firehouse rushed to Don's room. Blinded in the accident, Don recognized everyone by their voice. Everyone, that is, except his youngest son, Nick, who was just four when his dad was injured. That's Nick holding your right hand. I'm right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> so what happened to this man was that he was in a, um, he was a fireman, and he, w he was in an accident running into a building on fire where the floors collapsed, and he suffered traumatic brain injury, but he also suffered oxygen deprivation because the uh, oxygen hose that was coming into his uh, mask was kinked. And he had remained in minimally conscious state. So they showed a video, a picture of him sitting in a chair slumped over. He, he had remained able to show some signs of awareness, but not speaking, not walking, not talking. But interestingly, and I think very importantly, that happened about three or four months after his original injury, where before that point, he had actually started to recover and he was walking and he was showing signs of real connection and, and some in, in, you know, small responses. And then he sli slipped into this state of minimally conscious uh, uh, behavior for nine years. A physician in his nursing facility doing rounds about three or four weeks before that film was taken saw him and said, gee, you know, why don't we try some medications? And then he put him on a cocktail of three medicines and for three weeks nothing happened and then this happened. He woke up and started speaking. And the family was called, and one of the nurses in the facility gave them the video camera that took the, the video. And everybody who knew this man came from all around. And what you're watching is the spontaneous recovery within hours of his conscious state after nine years. And you saw him reach out and grab the one man who he called Simon. That was one of his uncles. And because he was blind, they were playing a game at this point, because this is late into they're doing the filming, and everyone would come in through this one door, and they'd quiet down, the family would quiet down, and say, okay, okay, Donnie, who's this? And then somebody would speak. So that was all he said. That was the only sound <laughs> coming out of his mouth. He called him by his name, whatever it was. I, did, I lost the, the phrase, but he reached up immediately, said Simon, and hugged him. And it went on and on, and in the last scene, he's looking for his son, Nick, because in his memory, Nick is four years old. He's going to put his ha hand on his head. And when Nick grabbed his hand, that's why he says, oh my God. And then the next thing he says after that is a little bit more colorful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, and it, it's an amazing story. And, and it would, what's different about his case from late recoveries, and I've seen probably the, the few late recoveries have been verified. We've studied many of them. Um, what's, what's really unusual in his case is that he had complete insight. So when they asked how we, he la asked how long have I been gone, and they told him 10 years, he was horrified, and he was guilt-ridden, and actually he felt like he'd abandoned his family. And, and it's a, it's a, it, it's a, this is the point, that you, we, we need to have a physical model of consciousness and when we can restore it and when we should expect that it's still possible to restore it, because this is a pretty high-risk medical error. Like we should, our, our, our uncertainty level shouldn't be like that.